morning, Praveen. Good morning, Naveen. Praveen Nai is our sales manager for SMB. Yeah, he will be talking to us today for, uh, about Sabhana. Thank you very much, Naveen. Today, I will just discuss upon a small point, which is uh, or an emerging technology, which is known as SAP HANA. Now, before we start off, actually, I would like to tell you what is SAP HANA. SAP HANA is a new database, which is basically an in-memory computing database. So all the data lies in the memory of the mem appliance or the compute node where it is loaded. That is SAP HANA. So do you think what is the benefits of uh, SAP HANA? SAP HANA, since it's in the memory of a database, the, all the data resides in the memory of the compute node, the access to the database is much faster. When somebody posts a query or wants a report from a particular uh, scenario, he can get the reports much, much faster. And that's because the way this data is structured, it's in a columnar format. And that's the reason we are able to get a data in a much, much faster methodology. So who are our target customer for SAP? Any customer who is planning to implement an SAP ERP is a target customer for SAP HANA database. So that's one method. Second one would be somebody who is migrating from an older version of SAP ERP to a newer version of SAP ERP is a target customer. Somebody who is already using the latest version of uh, SAP ERP and wants to move just the database part of it from a traditional database to a uh, uh, SAP HANA database is a target customer. Third, I would say is somebody who has already got a third party ERP, non-SAP ERP and he wants to use SAP HANA for his BI and BW purposes. Those are the typical use cases of SAP HANA, I would say. HANA can be deployed in three methodologies. One is an appliance based model in which you can buy the hardware from uh, typical customized hardware from any of the popular vendors in the market and those are custom built for that particular customer's requirement and it comes as a shipped equipment with the database installed. Uh, he just has to buy the licenses to make it operational. Second methodology is known as the TDI, which is known as Tailored Data Center Integration, in which case what happens is the customer can use his current existing environment of compute node and storage to deploy a HANA, wherein he doesn't, want, he doesn't have to invest on a new appliance, but use his current infrastructure to do that. The third methodology is basically the HANA Enterprise Cloud or popularly known as HEC in which HANA database and the application uh, server is offered directly by SAP from their data center and the customer can just on in his premise do the customization with the system integrator and ensure that uh, he can have the complete manageability of the HANA cloud, uh, HANA database as well as the application servers from the cloud actually. So that is, these are the typical scenarios how we can in, in, uh, deploy SAP HANA. So what is the difference between SAP HANA and the normal database? The primary difference is that SAP HANA is a columnar structured database, unlike traditional database which is a row structured database. Now, how does that benefit a customer? Columnar structured database is uh, the indexing or the way the data is written is compiled. Let's say for example you have a row structure, Naveen, nationality, a date of birth or for that matter visa status. So and you would have a th second person from a different organization having the same nationality. So the nationality is combined together and stored separately, whereas the other part is uh, stored separately. So whenever there is an indexing done to find out who is from a particular nationality, it just goes to that point and picks up all the data and is available to the customer at end, in the fly, uh, in the split second. Whereas in a traditional database, this, all these things are written each row by row, row by row, row by row. So every time a query is posted, it has to pick up from all the rows and then present it to the uh, end user. And moreover, this that data is actually right, written on the hard disk. So it takes a lot of time to generate a, a report which could actually be done in split seconds when it comes to SAP HANA. That's the, that's the traditional difference I would say. It came to my mind now the SMS we are getting from the telecom companies. Like sometimes I'm getting message in, uh, in, in, in Urdu, in, in, in Arabic and I don't know Arabic or in English and I don't know English. This will make it easy for the people to. So for example, I will get the right 
message like if for my nationality or for with the language I talk and everything. Yes, that's much more faster. It actually becomes easier for the user, like the telecom companies to analyze. The so analyze. they analyze the data. Yeah. So they can use this database to get the faster report and the go-to-market in terms of deploying the, a particular solution or deploying a go-to-market strategy is much more faster when you use a typical HANA database. So I will get the right message in there I, with yeah, the language yeah. that I understand, with the content that I need. For, it is not much more so from a user perspective, it's more so from an organization perspective. Yeah, I'm, because I'm a user, so yes, I'm thinking uh, of yeah, I, I, I can understand that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Praveen. Thank you very and much. And I think if they will go to our website, www.alpha.ae, they will find the full information about the SAPHAN. They can get this information. They can get this information. Thank you very Thank much. You.